one of the things I get a lot is, is this thing better than a keyboard? So here I am playing the actual game with my SteelSeries mouse and my Nostromo on the left. And here I am showing some of the keybinds I used to have on my keyboard. Now the keyboard has about 20 accessible keys. Now I'm not talking P and slamming both fingers. You have about 20 keys with decent modifiers. So in the Nostromo, I have about 40 keys. If you look at the Nostromo, I'm barely moving and I'm doing all these modifiers, right? And then you look at the keyboard, I literally have to take my hand off the keyboard and then do certain keybinds. Now, am I saying that's not impossible? No, I played that way for like six years, seven years. So I, I switched to the Nostromo, definitely less hand strain, definitely quicker on the go. The learning curve was just crazy, but, and I did it during a progression week, <laughs> sorry, uh, but it's, and the other tank had one too, but uh, it's pretty crazy now. Like, I do shift, alt, and control, all from that little D-pad, and I never have to move my main hand, my main fingers. I don't have to do these crazy gymnastics of keybinds anymore. I'm, I'm going to show you, set this thing up, because otherwise it has about 15 buttons. You can't do a boss fight with 15 buttons. The way I have it set up, it does about 40 buttons. And when I first set this thing up, I, I did it a bunch of different ways. This is my last iteration, and I believe this is the best way to go about it. So I'm going to show you. If you have other ways that you did it that you think are better, put it in the comments. I am not above God himself on uh, gaming. God, I guess, would be method this tier, but you know what I mean. Okay, first things first, you would imagine that that D-pad with the little PlayStation, Xbox-style thumbstick, analog stick, would be awesome for movement. You're going to start using the... No, it sucks. Completely sucked. Just pull that thumbstick out, and you're going to use that for your modifiers. I found uh, Shift-Alt-Control, great for the... Uh, if we're going counterclockwise here. And then the forward one I use for, um, as a Paladin tank, Holy Wrath. Jump is uh, very easily accessible by your thumb, so that's perfect. That wheel, that really glowy wheel, looks cool, but I couldn't really find a nice way to use it in combat without fucking stuff up. So if I go backwards, it's my land mount. Forward, it's my uh, fly mount. Works kind of cool. I have a click on it that I've yet to use. I guess I could bring up my yak if I did that. Uh, I, I used kind of a WASD setup. Obviously, I didn't uh, include uh, A and D, but instead Q and E, so uh, strafing. And then up top, just like you're used to, your uh, tilde A through 3. I did modifiers for four different symbols, because I'm a tank, so I hold shift, and it's a moon. I hold alt, then hit that button with my pinky, and it's an X. Uh, tab, I naturally put where I've known it to be for seven years, kind of like the keyboard. And then uh, bag, AOE 3, and then you hit shift and all those keys change, right? Now you can do all sorts of other things. Now you hit alt, all sorts of other things. I ended up getting my 32 buttons out of it. I hope this helps. I'm going to keep it nice, short, and sweet. Good stuff. Enjoy. Comments, subscribe. All these things help me in the rankings. It helps other people see helpful videos. Thanks so much. And if you have any questions, you can always just leave it in the comments. I'm sure people help you or leave it in the messages. And I am rambling now. Mother of God, I got to go.